Hey there, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, welcome! Today I'm going to be doing my finale for the spring project pan, and and my new roll-ins for the summer project pan. A lot of these things will stay, but there will be some rolling out, and of course rolling in to replace those for the summer months. So let's start with some empties, which is exciting. So I finished my e.l.f. illuminating eye cream sample and to replace it I brought in my Neroli serum. It's basically full. I've used a little bit. We're basically full so we will use that as our starting line, the full, the top here and then the next time we'll mark it at the new, at the new uh, update. So yay! And another empty is the Cover FX D drops, illuminating drops. What are they called? Custom enhancer drops. Uh, finished this. Can't get any more. New glow baby, and this one is in oh golden rose. So we're we've replaced it with the one we uh, an old one I finished. We're replacing it again with golden rose. It's a uh, and that's where I am now. Pretty much full, um, but yeah. This is another little um, AOA uh, illuminator. Um, this is its size, They're, they don't come bigger than this, but they do come in a five pack. And uh, this is where I got these, was in a five pack. That's rolling in for the summer to replace the cover effects. Um, this one, uh, it's not empty, but it's gloopy and it's hard to paint on my nails now so I'm calling it done and decluttering it so it's going bye bye. So let's go into the skincare. So I've made some good progress on my Glacier Water Mist from Spa Scriptions. Love this stuff. This is my second bottle and once I get down to here I'll be buying a third bottle and possibly another backup because I haven't been seeing them around but hopefully they haven't got rid of these because I love these. This is the best four dollars I've ever spent. And my third rock, sunblock. Um, by shining the light through the plastic, I'm down to here. We're getting through the third rock. It's a nice sunblock. Um, it's expensive. <laughs> Not gonna lie, it's expensive. It was, it was about, I think, thirty dollars, and then another twenty dollars or so to ship it. So yeah, not worth fifty dollars. <laughs> but I'm glad I tried it. And my, my AOA pH 5.5 Sika Licorice is looking kind of gross and dirty, but it is basically on its fourth roll up. So we are getting through this baby. And now I'm only using this at night now because I'm using a um, micellar water in the morning because really after I've washed my face at night, how much dirtier is my face in the morning? Maybe a little bit, but my cellar water takes care of that. So, so now I'm only using this at night. So it'll be probably a little bit slower progress on that one. And then I made some good progress on my brightening serum. It was originally there, and now we're down to there. So that's good progress. This is a lovely serum. Um, I'm gonna have to check um, how much this was because this actually came in it's either came in a petite vor box or it came in a uh, cause box I can't remember but uh, definitely was one of the subscription boxes um, so I got to figure out where I can get it and hopefully they ship to Canada because this is really nice although the ordinary uh, vitamin C serums are nice too and I know they're not expensive so all right so let's get into the progress Let's start with found, or no, let's start with primers. So my Urban Decay Primer Potion. Oh, look at the progress we're making on that baby. I did actually scrape some from the, the sides because it was getting hard to, to pick up. So I used a Q-tip and scraped the sides, but that's looking so much better than it did last time. And not a whole lot of progress on the putty primer, but dip is getting down. It's getting deeper, so 
That's progress. Small, but progress. Nonetheless. Um, the e.l.f. Mineral Infused Primer. Um, I can't see progress in that because it's not, uh, it's an opaque bottle. So once it runs out, yeah, I'll, I'll, it'll, it'll come out, come on here as an empty. But right now there's just, you can't tell progress. So no point in trying it. Now for my foundation, my, this is my Naked Skin, Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation. And we are down to there. So pretty steady progress. I'm hoping I'll be done this by the end of July. The progress I've been making, I'm I'm guessing I'm gonna be done at the end of July, so that's exciting. And that is the original naked um, foundation, not the stay naked. That's been the new formulation. And then what I use with that, because I find that dry on my face, is the Collagen Anti-Aging Day Cream. This is from Dead Sea, Dead sea Collection. Another another $4 um, purchase from Dollarama. And yeah, we're, we're scraping the sides. I'm gonna have to get a, my metal spatula, leave some, so I'm gonna have to bring out my little rubber spatula to get the rest pretty soon, but that's almost done. That'll probably be done the same time as the, as the foundation. So this was a good pairing that makes that foundation a lot less drying on the skin. It's what I'm using as a base today. And yeah, it's way more moisturizing with, with that cream. So, and another really good $4 buy at, at Dollarama. Highly recommend it. And let's go to concealers. So the 16 hour camo concealer from e.l.f. The line shows I'm about there, but of course, you know, it's covering the sides, but the settling line is about there. So I'm making slow and steady progress on that. And this one, we're making some progress on that one as well. This one has a pump that goes up. Um, we still, I still haven't figured out what company this is from. <laughs> Doesn't have it on the name. Don't remember, I can't remember where I got it. Could have been a petite four box. I don't know. Um, so yeah, but we're making pretty good progress on that. Pick things up with these nails. These are also Dollarama nails, by the way. Press on nails. The green ones, I, my puppy, uh, Quinn, uh, scratched my the paint on these nails, so I had to cover them in the green glitter. But I think it looks really cute with them, so yeah. But yeah, these are $2 press on nails from Dollarama. Any reason I said that because I was trying I was trying to pick this up with them and this is my NYX um, pro highlighter from their eight pan palette and this is in soft light and it's got a teeny weeny little pan now originally that was a small little gouge but it's getting bigger from me using it so that's cool and on my peach perfect when I finally got it patted down we're down to there so we're making slow and steady progress on the Peach Perfect Translucent Powder as well. So that's exciting. Progress, progress, progress. And what's next? Oh, bronzer. We've thrown the pan on this one too. Some expanded pan. Some expanded pan there. I'll have a picture of where it was before. I finally did that. Mm -mm. Bad pattern, right? Finally get to the actual before pictures. But it's getting rolled out for a different one, but that's we've made some real decent pan on this guy. So happy with that. Still really love this bronzer, but I want to bring in a slightly darker one. Um these I decanted into my old body shop container because the lid on the old container broke. So still not a whole lot of visual progress on these, but they're just, a, I just lightly dust them as a final finishing powder anyway, so. And another exciting pan development is the expansion of my pan on my Anastasia Starburst highlighter from the Sugar Glow kit. 
And look at that pretty pan. We're gonna transition, stop, stop this one and switch to Gumdrop. So I'm gonna start using this one as a highlighter. It's, uh, it's a pretty, pretty highlighter as well. It's a little, just slightly darker. So it's gonna be, right now it'll probably be a little bit subtle, a little subtler on the face. But just give kind of a nice bronzy glow. It's got, got a bronzy sort of uh, base to it. So, so yeah. So we're gonna go from this guy to this guy for summer. And then I use my chocolate cherry um, fixing spray from I Heart Revolution. And it's not it's opaque, so you can't see, but it's it's like low. I think I've maybe got three or four applications left of this, so we're using that up. I thought we were, I was going to be rolling this out, I thought it was going to be an empty, but it's still, it's still kicking, it's still juicy, so once I can't get barely anything on the lashes anymore, then I'll roll it out, but still, still kicking, so we're still using that up. And my Juicy Tubes has come down a little bit, there's the new mark there, now you can barely see it, but there's that dark pink mark right there. And I'm going to be rolling this out. But, so this guy's going to be saying goodbye. But we got some really good progress on this one. I love this one. It's a nice, light, um, sort of peachy, nude gloss. Um, and very nourishing feeling. It's just... Mm, nom, 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 nom. It almost makes you want to you know, eat it, but probably not a good idea. But yeah. The Lancome Juicy Tubes in Tickled Pink is being um, rolled out, but I have an extra pan. This one's not even in my project pan, but I hit pan on it. It's my Tiasen, sort of a white glitter, with white and green sort of glitter here. Really pretty. Let me get some and, and swatch that. There, see, you can see the pretty, pretty green glitters. So this has been a favorite, obviously, because we've hit that. Not even trying, but we've hit that. Okay, so again, what we're transitioning in for summer. So like I said, the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil is being rolled out for the deeper, slightly deeper Tart Park Avenue Princess, which I also have pan on, but this comes off, comes a little darker on me. So we're gonna bring that in for summer. And expand this pan. Rolling this guy out and bringing in my Avon Malted Milk lipstick, which I decanted into this. Um, pan here. So that's what I was using in, in winter and we're bringing it back for summer because it is technically a summer color. Oh yes, I uh, depotted my big Sephora, that big Sephora palette and repressed the blush because it smashed what I was trying to depot it. I hit pan again and it's Pretty much done. This was the last eyeshadow, pink, uh, the purpley pink eyeshadows that I was uh, working. And then the ones, the blush that I'm going to be bringing in for summer is also from that Sephora uh, palette. And it's this pretty peach one here. <laughs> you know me and peach. <laughs> I love it. So yeah, so we're going to transition that pink blush out and bring in this peach one and then we're going to start the summer with this eyeshadow it's a gold kind of a yellow gold eyeshadow so so yeah all these these blushes and these little heart eyeshadow pans have been depotted out of the Sephora beautiful crush that big thing that I was showing last time in my in my updates, I've depotted all these out. Um, I did do a um, 
get ready with me getting ready for summer. And this is the eyeshadow they used, that I used in that video. I can uh, link that video down in the description box along with all the, of course, all the things that I'm uh, in my project pan being rolled out, rolled in, that sort of thing. I'll, I'll uh, put all that information down in the description box below. And this is the summer eyeshadow we're gonna start with. Now for the things I have to measure. We uh, made good progress on the native deodorant. And we were, uh, let's see, we were there last time. We're here today. So that's some pretty good progress on that guy. And for my smoothie lip liner in 059, kind of, kind of a pinky nude, pinky peach nude. We were we were there last time, and now we're here, and we're rolling it out for this one. This one is in 073. It is a sort of light um, latte colored nude. So that lip liner is going to replace the pinky nude, pinky peach nude, and it's going to go in for summer. And then this guy is just a little nubbin now, but I can barely sharpen him, but we've made some really good progress on him. He was, we were there last time, and now we're here today and rolling him out. Replacing him with the with the, the this guy <laughs> that I rolled out back in April, and I'm rolling him back in today. So this one's it's kind of a medium brown, and it'll go well with the gold. More of a subtle um, line, which I like anyway. Um, yeah, and there's the new, the new um, lip liner. It's that first mark. So there is my um, project pan update. Finale for spring, rolling into summer. What I'm going to be using for summer. I hope you uh, liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see some more videos from me, hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell if you want to get notified when my videos go up as well. Because um, YouTube's not always doing that. So I uh, hope to see you again in my next uh, video and stay tuned for the next, the first summer update showing progress on stuff I've still been using, hopefully some empties again, and, and also some progress on my new things that I've rolled in for summer. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.